think I might do, I don't know if I, I, know if I can adjust it, let's adjust it to 10.5, that should be okay actually, as long as it's on the right range. So I'm adjusting the output of the generator to 10.5 volts, which is the best I can get out of this generator without collecting an audio amplifier up to it. 10.505, so that's reading a little bit high. Um, so what do I need to do here? I think I'm just going to, it's just going to ratio mode, but ratio mode won't give me the 100% I want because I'm not being enough input into it. Well that's interesting, it's, it is. So the calibrated to 1 kHz and level of 15 volts RMS, the right display on the audio analyzer should be between 14.7 and 15.3, but it's really 10.53 because I'm putting 10.5 zero into it, so 10.508 press the ratio button, set the AC calibrator that's interesting, so that's just like a reference start so then I'm going to set the AC calibrator to 40 kilohertz if I can remove the load of the frequency counter and maybe get the volts back up again. So that, what I'll do is I'll go up to 40 kilohertz. Okay, that's 40 kilohertz. Taking the signal. Oh, I've got a bit more gain out the um, amplifier when I've disconnected the scope, so I need to. So it still wants 14.7, but I can't give 14.7. I can give 14. 10.5 is the most I can do at this frequency. Um, and it says adjust. Set the AC calibrate to 40 kilohertz. Adjust A2C10 flat to 24 dB for the reading on the right display to be 99.7 to 100.3. Well, ratio mode. It's not going to do that. So I'm going to set that to read. That's interesting, that's a different reading, quite a significant different reading. Why is that? I've got 10.99 on the meter here, and I'm only, according to the HP, I'm only inputting 10.5. So it's 5. Point. Let's bring the frequency back down again. I'm confused here. You know, 10.5 at this frequency is probably about right, 10.6, 10.7. So it seems like at higher frequencies there's a big drop off and all the responses are quite a way out. Okay, so I'm going to go back to 40 kilohertz. And I'm putting in 9 point, I can manage 10.58, 10.583, and this is reading miles high, so the minus 24 dB flatness. Just check I'm on the right range. It's on the 18.9 volt range, and I'm putting in hardly half of that. But let's just see if we can get this into spec with this cap here. So we want 10.58. Okay, that's 10.59. That should be correct. So let's turn the get the voltage down. 10.11, 2 that's good. 4.154. 155.6, yep that's tracking okay, so I think that's the best we're going to get with this. Um, I don't think there's any way of getting any more drive out of this um, generator unfortunately. That's as much as I can give it. Um, 
50, yeah, I mean, okay, so I think that's fine, and that's that looks correct. I mean, I'm on the right range. I'm just putting a slightly lower voltage in, but I'm getting the right results. So that, I think that's fine. I think I'm happy with that. Um, and then the next step is common mode rejection adjustment. And what it says is you connect the high output of the generator to the low and the high input. So the low and the high inputs are joined up together. So let's do that. Shouldn't need that anymore. I'll leave it on just in case. But we'll sort this out. The low and the high inputs connected there. There's to a T piece. Like that. Just pressed a button by accident. And then the output goes into that T piece. And the gender changer, which is where is that? There, that's going to be done with do it with this. Okay, so my high output is going to the high and low input, which is correct. Um, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. 41.0 special, which initialises it. Set the auto generator to set to 60 hertz. Now it does actually say you can set it to 50 hertz if you're using 50 hertz mains. Um, so what I'm going to do is it says on the other end, key 41 special to initialise it. Set the output switch to ground and the input switch to float. Output switch to ground. Input switch to float. Um, set the input switch to yeah. Set the amplitude to one volt, amplitude one volt, and it says um, set the frequency to sixty hertz. We're going to do fifty hertz frequency, fifty hertz. Okay, and then it says. Yeah, connect the audio analogs in figure one, which I've done just now. Adjust A2's R43 CM for minimum level on the right display. And the CM pot is this one here. I've got the lowest figure here. Okay, that was. I have actually run to that test before. That's just about. As good as I'm going to get, I think. Right. Very, very touchy adjustment. Very touchy. I've just got it down to zero. We won't get it back there again. No, it's pretty good. Come on. That's, that's the best I'm going to get it. It's, I'm hardly turning that pot at all. Um, and then it says after that, once you've done it, you perform a common mode uh, rejection ratio performance test. I'm not going to do that in a moment. Um, the next step is uh, with the audio analyzer set to measure DC voltage and the input grounded, the DC offset is adjusted for a display of zero volts. So what it says is you terminate the um, input of the meter with a terminator um, so the high input needs to be terminated so let's disconnect the scope for a second and uh, the needs for a second I've got a terminator here look that's the high input so it says key in 41.0 special and it's then it says set the instrument. Um, it says set the in, in input switch to ground, which it is. 
uh, and set the measurement to DC level so that's shifted that. Right, it should be reading a DC voltage. And it says adjust it for zero minus zero to, to zero volts and it's just gone positive and no it's that's correct, I'm not going to adjust that, but that's basically a DC offset on the meter and that doesn't need adjusting. So that's good. Right, the next step is the 400 hertz pass and how do we pronounce this? Photometric filter adjustment. Okay, the procedure is 41.0 special. Uh, to initialize the unit, set the intermittent output switches to ground. They are both on ground. Um, set frequency to 2 kilohertz. Frequency 2 kilohertz. And it says, then set amplitude to 1 volt. Amplitude, 1 volt. Connect the high output to the high input and press ratio. So high output to high input and press ratio. So it's a high output. It's a high input. So these two we'll join these together with the T piece, which is already done. Press ratio, it says. That's the connection. Yeah, ratio. And it says. Oh, hold on a minute, I'll jump the gun here a bit. Press the high, high up and high but Press ratio, yes. Press the, the high pass 400 hertz. High pass 400. And adjust R, A2's R70. 400 hertz for reading of 99.6. 99.8 on the right hand display which is 99.5 so it's very close that's the 400 hertz pot so that's one here it's going to hardly need a touch I shouldn't think okay, that's 99.7 that's right in the middle I don't want that on That's pretty good. Okay, that's it. Set so the frequency to one kilohertz, frequency one kilohertz, and it says display on the right hand shows you between ninety nine point zero and hundred point one. That's 100.1.1. So what I'm going to do, as that's fractionally high, is I'm just going to bring that to 100, and that will still leave the other one in, in spec. So that, that should be absolutely fine. Just tweak that down slightly. There we go. So that's absolutely fine. Key in 800 cycles or 800 hertz frequency, 800 hertz. Set ratio to off. Ratio is to off. Press high pass, 400 cycle switch off. And press ratio. Press PSOPH button, which is that one. And for steady reading of 100% on the right hand display, put 100.1. Pretty blow the unit. It would, there you go. It's let's just trim it slightly, but I don't think you're going to get it much better than that. I think this pot's very jumpy as well. So basically, this is this is all spot on. 100, 100 hertz. You know, you're flicking between 99.96 and 100. These pots are all being clean, so it's not it's not a noisy pot or something. I think that's not going to get it much better than that, to be honest with you. Give the pot a quick twiddle, just to make sure it's not dirty, but I'm pretty sure it's all clean. Okay. 
100 hertz or 100 percent sorry so that's good that's absolutely that's fine so that's done that's the filter checked next part is the notch filter tuning and balance adjustment <coughs> okay and what I've got to do is I've got to connect the scope to the um, monitor output terminal which is that one from remember no it's not it's that one okay and then I've got to connect the high output to the high input and also we use the external trigger to trigger off now I don't think I need to do that it's the high output to the high input I've done that and then monitoring on the scope yeah the reason why it says use an external trigger is it's assuming that you're I think you're assuming that your scope won't be able to trigger to a a low weight, um, a weak sort of noisy signal, whereas this scope is actually quite good at doing that. Um, so let's go through the procedure for this then. 41.0 special, uh, and then it's what we got here. Set the input and output switches both to ground, which they are. Set the amplitude to 3 volts, amplitude 3 volts. Set measure to distortion.